What inspired you to pursue a career in business process outsourcing? I was inspired to pursue a career in BPO due to the potential for growth and development within the industry, as well as the opportunity to work with a diverse range of clients and industries. Can you tell us about your experience in managing customer service teams? I have experience in managing customer service teams in a variety of industries and have developed strategies for ensuring a high level of customer satisfaction while meeting business goals. How do you manage and ensure quality in a fast-paced BPO environment? I prioritize regular training and coaching for team members, implement quality assurance processes, and constantly monitor performance metrics to ensure high-quality results in a fast-paced environment. Can you discuss your experience in transitioning clients to new BPO processes or systems? I have successfully led several client transitions by developing detailed transition plans, providing regular communication and updates, and working closely with clients to ensure a smooth and successful transition to new processes or systems. How do you stay up to date with the latest BPO trends and technologies? I attend industry conferences and webinars, regularly read industry publications, and network with colleagues to stay informed about the latest trends and technologies in BPO. Can you explain your experience in managing and resolving client escalations? I have experience in managing and resolving client escalations by addressing concerns promptly, providing regular updates and communication, and working closely with clients to find a resolution that meets their needs. How do you approach hiring and training employees for BPO roles? I develop detailed job descriptions, conduct thorough interviews, and provide comprehensive training and ongoing development opportunities to ensure that employees are well prepared and successful in their roles. Can you discuss your experience in managing multiple BPO projects simultaneously? In my previous role, I was responsible for managing multiple BPO projects concurrently. I developed a system for prioritizing tasks assigning resources, and monitoring progress to ensure timely delivery of all projects. How do you approach building and maintaining strong client relationships in BPO? I prioritize clear and open communication, regular check-ins, and a collaborative approach to problem solving. By being responsive and proactive, I strive to build long-lasting partnerships with clients. Can you explain your experience with implementing and managing BPO performance metrics? I have experience developing and implementing performance metrics for BPO projects, including service level agreements, key performance indicators, and quality metrics. I regularly monitored and reported on these metrics to ensure continuous improvement. How do you approach managing and optimizing BPO costs and profitability? I analyze processes and identify areas for cost savings while maintaining quality standards. I also develop strategies to optimize resource allocation and improve operational efficiency, resulting in increased profitability. Can you discuss your experience with handling confidential and sensitive client information in BPO? In my previous roles, I handled sensitive client data with the utmost care and confidentiality. I adhere to all data protection and privacy regulations, and I always ensure that the necessary safeguards are in place to protect client information. How do you ensure compliance with regulatory and legal requirements in BPO? I stay up to date with all relevant regulatory and legal requirements and ensure that all BPO projects are fully compliant. 
I also develop and implement compliance training programs for team members to ensure that everyone is aware of their responsibilities and obligations. Can you explain your experience in implementing process improvements in BPO to increase efficiency and quality? I have implemented several process improvements in BPO projects, such as automating manual processes, standardizing procedures, and introducing quality control measures. These initiatives have resulted in increased efficiency and improved quality for clients. How do you approach managing BPO teams in a remote or distributed environment? I ensure effective communication through regular meetings, establishing clear expectations and guidelines, providing necessary resources, and promoting team collaboration and accountability. Can you discuss your experience in managing BPO vendors and third-party providers? I have experience in identifying and selecting vendors, setting performance expectations, managing contracts and relationships, and addressing issues proactively to ensure service quality and continuity. How do you approach handling and resolving conflicts within BPO teams or with clients? I encourage open communication, active listening, and mutual respect to resolve conflicts. I also involve relevant stakeholders and seek to identify and address the root cause of the issue. Can you explain your experience in managing BPO projects with international clients or teams? I have experience in coordinating with international teams, considering cultural differences and time zones, and adapting project management approaches to ensure successful outcomes. How do you approach designing and implementing BPO workflows and processes? I conduct thorough assessments of current processes, identify areas for improvement, and implement solutions that align with business goals and client needs. I also ensure ongoing evaluation and optimization of processes. Can you discuss your experience in managing BPO contracts and negotiations with clients? I have experience in negotiating contracts, ensuring compliance with legal and regulatory requirements, managing contract renewals and modifications, and maintaining positive relationships with clients. How do you approach ensuring data security and privacy in BPO? I ensure compliance with relevant data protection laws and regulations, implement appropriate security measures, conduct regular audits and assessments, and provide comprehensive training and awareness programs for BPO teams. Can you explain your experience in managing BPO projects with tight deadlines and time constraints? I have extensive experience in managing BPO projects with tight deadlines and time constraints. This involves effective project planning, resource allocation, and regular communication with stakeholders to ensure timely delivery of project milestones. How do you approach handling and mitigating risks in BPO projects? I approach risk management in BPO projects by identifying potential risks, assessing their likelihood and impact, and implementing measures to mitigate or avoid them. This includes establishing contingency plans, regularly monitoring and reviewing risks, and communicating with stakeholders about any potential issues. Can you discuss your experience in managing BPO projects in multiple languages or locations? I have experience in managing BPO projects in multiple languages and locations. This requires effective communication and coordination with team members and stakeholders in different locations, as well as adapting to different cultural and linguistic contexts. How do you approach managing and improving employee morale and satisfaction in BPO? 
I approach managing and improving employee morale and satisfaction in BPO by providing opportunities for professional development, recognition of employee contributions, and promoting a positive work culture. This involves regular communication with employees to understand their needs and concerns, and implementing measures to address them. Why is it worth subscribing to our YouTube channel? Subscribing to our YouTube channel provides valuable insights and tips on common job interview questions, how to answer them, and how to ace your interview and land your dream job in the BPO industry.